I'm sure we're all broke college students right now, trying hard to resist the urges of spending money on Chick-fil-A and the things you think you need from TikTok shop. But what if I told you there's a way to keep your hard earned money from disappearing? Money has always been hard to keep throughout the world and throughout decades. It's time to put a stop to this epidemic of reckless spending. Ever since I was little, I was afraid that I would run out of the little money I had right when I needed it most. And I have implemented many tips into my life that I have found helpful along the way and to change my bank account for the better. Let's begin with budgeting. I'm sure when you think of savings, one of the first things you may think of is budgeting. There are multiple ways to budget, but since, but since I've started, I've always planned out my week from the beginning. For each week, I calculate what I need to pay, such as gas, groceries, and a water bill. I categorize these and calculate them going a little over the price slightly so that I have room to wiggle. I then set aside an amount for each category and what I have less left over for the week goes into my savings account. What I do not use, I have used for my wants or I put aside for a big purchase that I may be saving for. While this may not work for everyone, there are other ways to budget, such as the 50-30-20 rule created by US Senator Elizabeth Warren. She says in the N26 blog, you do not need a complicated money, m budget to get your finances in check. All you need to do is balance your money. This method goes as 50% of your money per month goes to your needs, 30% goes to wants, and 20% goes to your savings. Other may find, others may find this easier than my weekly procedure. The next step is to set goals for yourself. When I started saving, I subconsciously set rules for myself that I learned to follow, but for this, it may be easier to write your goals down daily, somewhere you'll see. The first goal I use is do not pull from savings unless absolutely necessary. According to Bankrate, only 43% of people would be able to spend $1,000 on an unexpected but necessary expense. Do not allow your checking account to go under a certain amount of money. This could be something small like $100 or something larger like $1,100. This is a safety net in case you fall below. Only buy wants if they're at a discounted price and only buy food if you've got a gift card or if it's a special occasion. While my goals may be unrealistic to some, there are many that others may find helpful. This could be wait before you buy. You may realize that the item was something you wanted rather than needed, quoted by Bank of America's How to Start Saving Money. Choose a specific amount to save every month. This could be $600 in October and $625 in November. Improve your credit score. In charges, Joey Johnson says a good credit score can save you thousands of dollars on a major purchase. This may all seem daunting hearing it for the first time, but your final step is to get started. This could be the most difficult part, but is absolutely the most important. Start out small. This will not be an easy process if you're not used to saving. Ease into this and don't set your goals too high. Set, a, set up a savings account. This will be easiest if you have an app for your bank. That way you can do this without the bank and transfers within seconds. Understand yourself. Allow some lenience when you begin. Do not go too hard on yourself, but stick to your goals. The way you can save may be life-changing to you now and in the future. Get yourself through the door, not only to make yourself feel more financially secure now, but to ensure that you're prepared for anything you may face. The last thing you need is for your financial aid to suddenly fall through and you not have a solution for it.